showing how it's done. Former world champion Andrew Toft from Scotland took to the River Mourne for a fly fishing masterclass. Some of those watching may seek to put the tips to good use in competitions being held as part of the fair. Organisers say they expect around 5,000 people to attend, with visitors from across Ireland as well as Britain. The Northwest Angling Fair features workshops on the art of fly tying. There are thousands of different flies designed to catch the eye of passing fish. The youngest demonstrator is 13-year-old Jacob Griffin from Donegal, seen here under the watchful eye of his grandfather, who introduced him to fishing. Oh, my granda bought me a vice about three years ago, and I just started off from there, tying flies. And then when I catch something on my own fly, it's brilliant, it's brilliant as well. All my family has fished, but uh, he is like myself. It's just a disease with him. He can't help it. <laughs> there are 25 trade stalls and a range of others providing training and education about the sport. Ned Marr from Kilkenny says the pandemic fueled interest in angling with more people seeking outdoor activities. With a lot more people got back into angling, it can be very relaxing and good for the mind to be out and peace and quiet on the water for a few hours. While there were plenty of fish in the water, supply problems meant there were none on the menu. Vincent Kearney, RT News, County Tyrone. Well, let's take a look at the main news again this evening. Public Expenditure Minister Michael McGrath has confirmed the government will engage with unions who have called for a review of the public sector pay agreement due to spiralling inflation. Public sector workers are due a 1% pay increase in October, but unions say it's not enough to cover energy and other cost of living increases.